If you have the good fortune to waken up on a summer's morning in a room in Acton's Hotel in Kinsale, you won't be surprised to find that just out the window you've got a splendid sea view. What you may find more surprising is that you also have a terrific picture of the ocean over the bed. That's because there's a seven foot by four foot photograph laminated into the bedhead. It's a celebration of the work of a local photographic artist who lives just around the corner here. His name is Giles Norman. Now the first thing you'll notice is that all the studies are in black and white. So how does one become a great photographic artist whose signature is enough to ensure the value of a print? Temperament is part of it. A genuine love of the outdoors. Perhaps a quiet nature. But above all, a great eye. The first time I actually took photographs for a reason or a project was the fifth year in school when we did a project of fishing in Kinsale. And I think I just had a small little one of those Kodak ones that used to click out. And I took the photograph for the school project, which we then had to do around the classroom. I think the minister for the marine came to, to have a look at it and mark us. It was a national project. So that was the first time that I took photographs that were then put on a wall. And why the decision to shoot exclusively in black and white? Well, the first gallery I had in Kinsale, I started with colour and black and white, always preferring the black and white, and finding that more people were looking at the black and white than the colour. So it was an easy decision then just to stay with the black and white and just do black and white. It's a, it's a preference, you know, as a... As a a painter might use oils and another one might use watercolours. I just like the black and white. Giles Norman has a huge portfolio of work. Most of it shows water. And it has too a distinctly Irish hint of melancholy. These are solitary places. Studies by a man who works alone. Giles, given that you photograph other subjects, does it bother you that you're thought of almost exclusively as a marine photographer? Um, I don't care how I'm thought of, really, David, to be honest, you know. Um, what is your heart like? The last two or three years, my, not so much style, but I've definitely been taking a certain, certain type of photograph, which is what I kind of call very much pure landscape or pure seascape, where there is nothing of no human intrusion of any type in it either um, buildings or people themselves or anything that, that could be put down to construction or being constructed by, by people or by, by humans it's very much i'm just trying to photograph purely landscape whether it be looking out to sea or on the land or, you know do you find yourself constantly drawn back to the ocean yeah always constantly drawn back to the west coast of ireland anywhere west, for some reason and pe people look for photographs on the east coast and the midlands but I, the time I have with the camera is kind of limited to the, because I have to run the two galleries and things like that. So if I, if I do get a week or two weeks I nearly always head west over to Connemara, Dingo, Barra Peninsula, the Aran Islands, it would be my place of choice to photograph, yeah. <laughs> Have you got some pre-planned route around this cove or do you just wander? I just wander, literally wander and I, I obviously when you're shooting in an area like this the tide will make a difference if the tide is in, you can't do as much if the tide is out. You, you kind of walk around and you might see somewhere that looks interesting. Literally just wandering around, yeah. Have you ever tried seriously to include in your portfolio um, scantily clad people, um, pictures of 
cows and horses and shop fronts and things like that? Yeah, there's a, there's a fair bit of kind of um, cityscapes I have as well, you know, and a lot of Connemara ponies and donkeys and cattle, yeah. yeah. What people might say is tourist kitsch. Yeah, but I try not to do it in, in such a way that it's... I've, I've never set up a photograph. I've never, if a donkey's got its head over its wall, its head is over the wall, I've never, you know, I've never organised a donkey to be there, I've never taken a, a dead sheep and put it in the right place. People often think I have a, a sheep in the back of the car, but no, they just seem to happen. The dark alchemy of the developing room. It proves the accuracy of the eye, the steadiness of the hand, the poetry in the soul. Obviously it's a business because I have to make a living from it and we, we employ a few people so we have to pay them, but I, I still take the same photographs that I took. Now, all the photographs you sell are photographs that you have taken? Oh, oh yes, every single one, yeah, yeah. And they've all been signed, I signed every one of them. I never go out particularly looking for anything definite. I'd never say I'm going to photograph this today, I'm going to photograph that. I normally pick an area that I like to go to and just travel there and then just walk around and see what I find and you'll always find something, you know. Giles Norman, photographic artist.